Hi guys, Jamie McIntyre here. Let's talk about something other than the fucking coronavirus, shall we? My God, he's getting sick of this bullshit. Now that it's pretty obvious the coronavirus is a global scam. Uh, death rates coming in below what I said some time ago, below the normal fucking flu. Um, oh my God, governments are easiest ones to scam. If they're gonna allow scams like this, folks, we should think of a scam and get billions out of them too. Of that bloody stupid. But anyhow, I wanna to talk to you about, if you don't know, Virgin. Our second domestic carrier um, has just filed for voluntary administration, which was expected. I'm pretty pissed at the federal government, who's absolutely destroyed Virgin and umpteen other, or pretty much almost every business in the country with this uh, stupid economic lockdown, which I said over a month ago, uh, not hindsight, but foresight, that was the, one of the greatest overreactions of human history. And I will be proven, like others who agree with my thoughts, that this should have never happened because they looked at shoddy data, didn't look at the facts, and history will show that Scott Morrison made the wrong decision. No offense to Scott, he's a good Christian man, has the best intentions, but the governments have been scammed and they should have done their research a little bit better. And half the population is still thinking they're gonna fucking die of a virus made in a fucking lab. So, um, anyhow, Virgin. The feds aren't going to step in to save it. We need two airlines in this country. And the idea that some other uh, airline around the world is going to come into Australia in a short time and set up and, and you know, get to 40 odd percent market share like Virgin has uh, in a short period of time is you're just kidding. One, one most airlines have no fucking money. Uh, they rely on forward bookings, which there isn't any. And, um, the, and even, you know, they don't have, they just don't have the money if they wanted to all the time, you know. So, yeah, some may come in eventually, but even then it'll take years. Virgin's taking, what, 20 years since ANSAC collapse or just before that. And they come in at a very opportune time to build up what they've got now to keep airfares cheap. Like, I live on the Gold Coast. I can fly to fucking Sydney for, you know, 100 bucks. Or a Tiger, you can fly for $55. It's all gone now. So my point is this. As Australians, we are going to pay one way or the other. If Virgin goes under and that's filed for voluntary administration, if it goes completely under and can't be saved... It's going to cost us money if you travel domestically. So we should look at some way of nationalising it, our fucking selves amongst Australians. Uh, I, mean, I have some wealthy friends. If they want to invest in airlines, and, you know, it's not the easiest investment. If we're going to spend money, though, on extra airline tickets, then uh, maybe we should think about that, possible crowdfunding, possibly utilising uh, government wants super funds to invest and to save it. Well, why can't they give an exemption? They easily give an exemption that people can invest some of their super in it. Crowdfunding, regional councils, city uh, large uh, capital city councils, state governments, um, Gold Coast City airports. Um, you know all the airports around the world, around the country that benefit from Virgin being there. It's going to cost them if Virgin's not there. So they might as well consider investing all that money, a pool of money, into saving Virgin. Virgin might be able to save. I know the Queensland government's willing to put up two hundred million. Uh, Richard, um, you know, who, who I've uh, had speak, you know, for our twenty first century uh, followers, you know, some years ago, and I've you know I've known for many years. The challenge with Richard is that he's only ten percent shareholder in Virgin. He may come to a rescue, um, but he's got his hands full of Virgin Atlantic. You know, who the fuck would want to own airlines at the moment? Like, but a lot of the damage has been done. Now we know this coronavirus is not some you know, new virus is going to wipe out the planet, that it's something that's so fucking minor, highly infectious, but so is the fucking flu, and the death rates are going to come in at, you know, below 0 point, probably 5%, oh five percent so it's not a threat. Um, so people soon figure that out. So I'm assuming that a lot of the recovery could happen sooner or later. Once they start getting forward bookings again on domestic airlines, so you, we, there's a chance that you could probably bail out Virgin for three, four, five hundred million dollars. The Queensland government's only put up two hundred million. We could possibly raise money off councils and you know super funds and and airports, and uh, and possibly borrow the rest. And it's it's a risk, yes, absolutely, but. You could probably do very well out of this. We're going to spend money anyhow on higher airfares and, uh, and all these other partners will be losing money. So it's going to cost us money anyhow. We might as well risk that money we're going to lose anyhow. Make sense? And Virgin could be saved. Make sense? So I'm suggesting throw it out there. Let's nationalise it ourselves amongst the collective group of Australians if you want to do that. And uh, you can be surprised because there's a lot of partners. You know, a lot of hotels that even partner. 
You know, Gold Coast tourism, Sunshine Coast tourism, as an example, is fucked without Virgin. Uh, a tourism industry won't recover. So there's, you know, you could get a lot of funding, you know, maybe not direct through the feds, but via Tourism Australia, et cetera, where they'll guarantee, you know, X amount of advertising or sponsoring and, and uh, you know, JobKeeper could keep, you know, uh, fund a lot of salaries for X amount of time to get Virgin. So once we can start forward bookings and then pressure the government, hey, let's allow forward bookings to start, you know, people can start booking 60 days time from now or less to start flying domestically. There is a possibility, not easy, that it could be bailed out. Hopefully there's other people out there with deeper pockets that will take a punt, but that's one way for the people that's going to cost us more money anyhow, what have we got to lose? Who cares if it failed? Are uh, we gonna spend more money anyhow on higher airfares and regional airports gonna lose, uh, city airports gonna lose revenue, freight companies won't, won't have Virgin to use, um, and governments, uh, state governments should certainly participate as well. The Queensland government already has put their hand up, so that's a good idea. Let's see what we can do, throw it out there. Talk to you soon.